Well, all right, people. People, people, people. I bring to your ass another video. Which I done had a few beers. And I'm gonna have another one. So anyway, on this particular goddamn video, what we're gonna talk about is get the health food stuff into and through your head. Alright? As you can tell, I got a bunch of shit already laid out right here for you. You know? These are starters basics on eating healthy. Okay? Getting your blood pressure under control. Getting your cholesterol under control. Getting your damn overweight fucking problems. And possibly diabetes under control. So anyway, and then what you hear in the background is these uh, very nice, cute little birds I have over here, little parakeets. So just, uh, you know, I just wanted you to know that so you wouldn't think, what the fuck's that in the background? And by the way, Miller High Life is a really good beer, so try it out if you ain't already. But anyway, let's start with this, man. First starters, anybody needs to, uh, they do get a little loud here and there, by the way, as you can tell. But for first starters, wheat bread, alright? 100% whole grain wheat bread. I've done a bread video earlier about showing you ingredients, alright? on what should be in the bread, what shouldn't be in the bread. So if you want to know more about the bread, go back and watch that one bread video I've done. So anyway, wheat bread. There's a good choice right there to start out with, all right? And second of all, you can incorporate you some honey into your diet, okay? So you got the wheat bread, you need the whole grains, man. And by that, with whole grains, I mean, Triscuit, made out of 100% whole grains. Oatmeal, which I forgot to put up here, but oatmeal, that's 100% whole grains too. Anything that's whole grains. Wheat thins, whole grains. These fucking granola things here, 100% whole grains. And these right here are my favorite because they contain so many fucking vitamins, nutrients, and minerals. These are very good too which also contains whole grain. So you need to get the whole grain thing into your head, man. Get the whole grain, whole grain wheat, bread, granola bars, crackers, whole grain. Whole grain it out, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Next thing, you need to just uh, incorporate you some raw honey into your diet. Don't process little honey bear bullshit you get at the damn dollar store. I'm talking about real, homegrown, local, raw honey. So you need that too. Alright, and you can mix the honey with anything you want to mix it with, obviously. But, if you want a quick high blood pressure relief, you mix honey and vinegar. Drink that. That should take care of some immediate high blood pressure problems I've used in the past. I do these things. See, I had high blood pressure a while back. I started eating all these healthy foods and shit. And this, I'm down really low right now at this point. So I know what I'm talking about. Another thing you want to incorporate, like I say, cinnamon and stuff. You know, put some cinnamon in your diet. That's really good for you. Here's some homegrown basil leaves that I growed right there. I, I put them in certain things that I cook. Here's some rosemary I bought at the store right there. Here's some parsley, garlic powder. You know, try to add that stuff to your food. Even if you buy this like a Macalena meal, Michaelina, whatever you call that shit, banquet meal, put some, you know, buy something that you can just put some herbs in there, man. Just herb it up. You know what I'm saying? 
The herbs are great for you, man. These are just standard culinary herbs. Most people have them foods and shit, you know, for flavor. It's also got medicinal properties. Duh. All right. Another thing. Here's some pastas, for instance. Like, I can take this pasta right here, classic Italian pasta. You know, you heat up the water, dump this shit in there, cook it for like seven minutes, it's done. Bam. Bam! You can also, you can add a extra garlic in there and shit. You know, extra garlic in there. Put you some extra parsley in there. Parsley's excellent for you. Put you some extra basil in there. Or like I say, it's my homegrown basil. Put, put any of that shit in there. You think it might go with it. Some oregano. Anyway, nuts. Nuts are another thing. These are the nuts I buy all the time. It's got a mixture in them. It's got like almonds, cashews, weird ass like big fat fucking Brazil nuts in them. They're fucking great, man. It's even got some pecans in there as well. So there's your nut mix. Perfect. Okay? Nuts are healthy for you. Another nut or seed that I like is these right here. Planters sunflower seeds. Excellent. These fucking things have 50% vitamin E. That's a lot of vitamin E. That's good for your skin. That's good for all that shit. Just for a little snack, okay, you're thinking, damn, where's the sweet stuff at? Whatever. Here's you some fucking raisins, okay? Raisins are really good for you. Eat you some fucking raisins, man. Eat you some 100%... You can buy that fucking high dollar chocolate at the dollar, uh, Walmart. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like 50% real cocoa. The real cocoa chocolate, dark chocolate, is excellent for you. The milk chocolate is made up bullshit. So remember that too. Another good thing to eat as far as meat wise goes, get you some good old tuna fish. I just here recently picked this up at the Walmart here locally for like $2.50 and it's running a special. So get you like some Star Kissed or Chicken of the Sea or uh, whatever that other brand is. Some fucking tuna. I recommend the kind of tuna that's in water. It'll say it on there. It's right there. In water. Because the kind with the oil, I think it's nasty as shit. But anyway, another excellent nut. You want that potassium, right? So you eat you some mashed potatoes. You drink you some fucking 100% good whole red label milk to get your potassium, and you can also eat these damn good fucking pistachios. Fucking love them. I eat oatmeal in the damn morning and back it up with some pistachios and maybe even some fucking fruit. And I recommend buying ground flaxseed. Mix that in with the oatmeal too. Excellent omega-3. And also, let's not forget juice. And I recommend this brand here, Ocean Spray, because it ain't got no artificial bullshit in it. Ocean Spray is the best one to get. Alright? It ain't got all artificial shit in it, man. No high fructose corn syrup, no artificial bullshit. So Ocean Spray juice, all the time. The juice you want to stay away from is grapefruit juice because it don't mix with any damn thing. It can cause bad reactions, adverse reactions. Whatever. So anyway, I hope that this gave you a little something to think about right there. And fruits, like actual whole fruits that I eat at times, you know, or like blueberries. Blueberries are excellent for you. You gotta try them blueberries out. And I eat some bananas here and there too. As far as garden vegetables go, your onions, your garlic, you know, your cucumbers, your tomatoes, all of those vegetables, man. All the vegetables. All the greens out of the garden. Salads, you know. Eat that green salad. Don't eat that iceberg bullshit. It ain't good for you. Eat that leafy. Leafy like romaine. You know, the leaf lettuce. That's what you want. Spinach, turnips. Just trying to give y'all a little tip, you know. Let y'all eat healthy, man. You gotta get the health food shit into your head. Get off this fucking crazy bullshit. And sometimes I make chocolate milk. Okay? 
for another little sweet thing. You're probably like, damn, all this stuff ain't much of a sweet. Your raisins are sweet, your honeys are sweet, the granola bars are sweet, juice is sweet, you 100% cocoa chocolate is sweet when you add just a little sugar to it. Chocolate milk is sweet. You get the whole damn point. Some little cinnamon and sugar uh, is really damn sweet. So I hope this helped y'all out on what to eat and what to get started eating healthy. Uh, 